all those people got all mad about Elvis and Jackie Robinson and uh, uh, like Bridget Bardot. And those same people that don't want the kids to learn about sex are stoked if they learn about the hydrogen bomb. Today I worked a long time on trying to sing a song correctly into a microphone and I don't know if I was successful, nor do I know what the end result will grant this person or the world. But I did it anyway. I was a substitute school teacher for like 14 years. And then mowed a lot of grass, cleaned some gutters, painted some houses interior and exterior. Those, those Malcolm Gladwell kind of people will tell you, well, it's just about when you were born and where you were born, statistically, more than anything else. Like whether your hair is brown or yellow and the color of your skin and, you know, where the road runner ran by you. I've never seen a road runner. If I have, I can't remember. I have seen a Jesus lizard. I really enjoyed that. I'm a big fan of reptiles and amphibians. I like snakes and lizards, turtles, newts, salamanders, toads, Frogs, they bring me joy. I like their colors. I like how you can see the primordial earth and also like a highly evolved intelligent being. Sentient, not terribly different than you or I. They have eyes and digits, heart, lungs. They're a larva. I don't even know what you call it. I don't like the word larvae. They're, they're an egg, then a, a tadpole or some kind of little swimming jam, then their fully formed adult self. They eat insects. Big snake can eat a mammal. Komodo dragon can eat a deer. A shark can eat a seal. And I, when I was in Mexico City recently, I ate some ants or crickets. I can't remember. I think that's cool if it's necessary. If it's done as a uh, cultural, intellectual, like field trip adventure thing, I, I'm not that into it. I, I'd rather just have a taco with no bugs in it. People get all mad. If there's bugs in something, unless they pay a lot of money for there to be bugs in it. People show kids the hydrogen bomb. They'll get mad if they watch Elvis or like an intelligent woman or a naked woman. Naked intelligent woman, they don't want kids to see at all. But because Jesus hates that, but Jesus loves the hydrogen bomb. I wonder if Norman Rockwell was okay with it. During the Eisenhower administration, America lived in a bubble, a time of peace and prosperity for certain Americans. I don't think it was that good for the reptiles and amphibians. You know, people are cutting the grass a lot then and painting the houses, working in the factory and dumping the chemicals in the river. Industry is advancing at a rate at which is acceptable to the uh, really poor mass skills of people that think that a successful economy is one that grows indefinitely every year and that's how you measure its efficacy. Like, have you... You have a finite amount of space and you want it to grow forever in a finite amount of space. That's a terrible idea. 
But I need to stop making fun of people all the time, criticizing. I just want, I don't know what, I, I know what I want. Peace for the reptiles and amphibians. And me wilding out and saying off color stuff doesn't necessarily help them. This is a long video. I need to be more focused on them. But I suppose it's good to take the time to talk into the camera. Today is, it's definitely Friday. I think it's April 23rd. I'm in a studio in Sea Ranch, California. I went to the grocery store this morning and talked to the uh, person that you buy the groceries from. Besides that, I haven't talked to anyone with my voice. I, I had some text messages. Who did I text message with? I think it's untoward to say. This whole privacy thing is weird. Because I'm old, I'm not allowed to talk about or show things in my life because it was uncouth to do so when I was coming of age. Now everybody talks about and shows everything in their life and sort of an understood underlying reality. Strangely, I think that people, when I was young, they get mad if you show their picture. They're probably right. But now that the world's not that way anymore, I'm tempted to just show all my pictures. But I don't, but I show this picture of me. Always me. Because everybody owns themselves, but you're not allowed to film anybody else unless you have, unless you're a certain age or a part of a community that maybe I just don't have patience to participate in. But I think I would be, uh, that would be creepy. That, that community doesn't want me around. So it's just me in this studio. I can see the ocean, I can see a green field, I can hear sheep. You can see the sun, which is starting to go down towards the horizon. It's still pretty high in the sky, although it's evening. And I've been uh, working for quite a long time now. I felt compelled to make a document. I have done so. I don't feel confident about the uh, entertainment quality of it. I'm just going to let it be the way it is. I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to drink one beer, I'm going to smoke one cigarette, I'm going to put on a bathing suit, I'm going to walk down the path through the high grass to the ocean. The beach is closed. I'm going to climb over the orange fence like that plastic bullshit they put up and no trespassing sign and the railing of the stairway that goes down to the cove. I'm going to go down it. I'm going to run quickly along the beach, past the little headland island that's out in the tide pool, over to the portion where you can just dive in really quickly. I'm going to dive in really quickly, I'm going to feel the cold water, I'm going to feel refreshed, and I'm going to run back, put my shoes and my shirt back on, and hopefully the ranger won't catch me. I got caught once, because I was being careless. I wasn't being fat because I just thought it'd be ridiculous if somebody's swimming in the freezing ocean on a completely empty beach that somebody would call the cops on them, but they did. I'm too preoccupied with that fact. What is that about this person here? Yeah. That is a document from today.